sounds like a fight. It's coming from the alley. It's you? And to think, I could have spent the night on a quiet road in the desert. Perfect. That's just what I need. Ah, oh, damn it. I can't leave him here. I can't believe I'm doing this. I suppose I should try to learn something about this man while he's unconscious. His dog tags read Captain David Walker. If I'm not mistaken, black tags are used by special forces. Hmm. I wonder if he has a middle name. There's a card in his pocket. It's for a local hostel. I don't have a reason to carry around a wire hanger at the moment. Greetings, sir. Would you like a room? No. I just thought I'd look around. I'm sorry, but you can't enter unless you're staying here. I need to see a registration card. Here's my registration card. Go on through. Have a nice evening. Ah. 
Of course the light switch wouldn't work. What was I thinking? There's a bulb up there. There must be a chain attached to it. It's too high, even for me. And I thought my hotel room was bad. That's the backpack Walker had on when we met in the desert. That's quite a knife. Little good it did him tonight, sitting in his backpack. A small grappling hook. I wonder what he uses it for. David Livingston Walker. He's from Indiana. He certainly looks the part of a hero, but you can never tell. hotel room. Did you at least buy me dinner first? If anyone owes anyone dinner, it would be you, since I saved your ass in that alleyway. Right. It's all coming back to me now. Why did you? No idea. I don't normally... well, one good deed and all that. Are you quite unbroken? If you mean from the fight just now, yeah. If you mean as a human being... I didn't. Right. Who were those men, and why did they attack you? I don't know. I don't know who they were. I was just walking around the city. I mean, I'm obviously American. They could have been attempting to take me hostage. With a noose? You don't believe that. No, I don't. Where are you from? Indiana, USA. Been a long time since I've lived there, though. You? I live in New York. Uh. You don't sound entirely American. No. You backpacked into Cairo. What are you doing in Egypt? I'm just a tourist. I'd like to see as much of the world as I can before it's completely gone to shit. And you? Work. Ah. You weren't a military mechanic. I was trained to repair engines. But that wasn't my primary function, no. Army Ranger? Navy SEAL? U.S. Army Special Forces. Green Beret? They rarely travel alone. I am no longer in the military. I'm on my own. So, Uncle Sam isn't feeding you. What do you do for money? I do odd jobs here and there. I rarely stop moving for long, though. Have you ever done security work? Bodyguard, that sort of thing? In the military, we secured a lot of things. I'd like to hire you for a security job, if you're interested. That depends on what I'd be securing. I need to see a man here in Cairo. He's unsavory. Chances are good I'm going to disappoint him. I could use backup. You saw those guys beat the shit out of me, and you want to hire me for security? You put up a good fight. To a point. Yeah, well, that's the point that matters. What are you seeing the man for? What's your business? I appraise antiques. Oh, I had no idea the antiques business was dangerous. 
When there are millions of dollars involved, it's always dangerous. It's just this one job. I'll pay you 1,000 US. I'll do it. But you don't have to pay me. I owe you. No, you do not owe me. I'll pay. All right. Mr. Rector. I'll take the job, Mr. Rector. Sir. I should warn you. Someone told me today that the man I'm going to see, Mr. Masri, keeps a gun in his desk drawer. Good to know. I'll keep my eye on him. We both should get some sleep before tomorrow. Meet me outside the hotel at 8 a.m. All right, Mr. Rector. I'll be there. Good night. I'd better cancel my arrangement with the upstanding Hasim. And isn't that a relief? Done. Now for some sleep. It's getting late. Better get to bed. I have that meeting with Masri first thing in the morning. Good morning, Mr. Rector. Mr. Walker? I'm ready when you are. This is it. Ready? Lead on, Macduff. Welcome. You must be Mr. Rector. I am Yusef Masri. Greetings, Mr. Masri. This is my associate, Mr. Walker. Sir? I assure you, it was not necessary to bring a bodyguard. That's my prerogative. I see you have the chest all set up for me. Whenever you are ready, Mr. Rector, I'm sure you will find the chest is exactly as I described it. That's the Kenobic chest Masri is trying to sell my client. At a cursory glance, it looks legitimate, but I need to make a closer analysis. The Canopic chest is genuine. It was created during Egypt's 18th dynasty, approximately 1323 BC. You see? What did I tell you? However, it is not, as claimed, a chest similar to Tutankhamun's chest. It is, in fact, Tutankhamun's Canopic chest, which was stolen from the Cairo Museum in 1992. That's not true! The thieves tried to disguise the chest by adding the Horemhab cartouche to the side and staining the headdresses on the jar stoppers. For this defacing of a priceless and irreplaceable artifact, Mr. Masri and his accomplice Samuel Lessing should be taken out and summarily shot. Of course, that's just my recommendation. Thank you, Mr. Rector. I'll notify the Cairo authorities. You are mistaken, Mr. Rector. I have paperwork that proves it. You do not want to fuck with Mr. Rector. Uh, good. Very good. Well, I think that about wraps it up. Get out! Gladly. Enjoy your prison term. Let's go, Mr. Walker. Holy shit, Rector. You tore that guy a new one. You do know how completely infuriating you are, right? I didn't hire you to critique my methods, as if you could. Hey, I'm complimenting you. 
That was awesomely badass. How do you know all that stuff? And oh god, the look on his face. I've never seen anyone turn green before, but he was, honest to god, the color of asparagus. Overcooked asparagus. Canned. The chest was stolen from the Cairo Museum in 1992. The thieves tried to disguise it by staining the headdresses, for which they should be summarily shot. Jesus, his face just kept falling and falling. Not that one. Those were the same guys who attacked me last night. I'm sorry. I don't know what the hell they want with me. to get out of here. I don't want to spend the next six months in lockup in Cairo. Right. I guess we should split here. It's been a pleasure, Mr. Rector. Good luck. Wait. 